good everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Western Wednesdays, your favorite shoe reviewer. Scoop these things up on sneakers. Lucky me, I've been taking L's for a minute on that app. Not this time. Was able to get these things. I was looking at these things for a while, a couple weeks. Notified me, scooped them up, got lucky. And now I think you can only find these things like on StockX or GOAT for uh, way above the price. Like I think the last time I saw the price for these was anywhere from like two to $400. So uh, I got them for 120. Yeah, 120. Starting with the traction, you have your basic hair and bone traction. Now this shoe is classified, I think in the running department, all right, with the uh, cushion setup and then the way the traction is and then the air, entire upper as well. So the traction pattern, it has some zigzags, almost like a, a classic hair and bone. It's not uh, stereotypically the, the normal traction that you would see for running, but it's nice. It has grooves. The cool part about this thing though is it mixes this aqua blue traction pattern throughout the white with the blue and then it really uh tips off on the on the top with the uh, the, the upper okay so the cushion setup foam midsole they don't classify it what exactly it is but jordan and nike they, they they do a lot of cushion line all right and i feel like just by pressing and with it on foot it feels a little bit like cushion line which I really enjoy Kushlan, the Jordan Racers, a lot of the shoes that I've had that have Kushlan, when it breaks in, it really is plush and nice and, and comfortable, all right? So at the heel, they provide you with a nice air unit here at the heel. It's in like a crimson red, all right? So it really pops amongst the other colors that they have on the upper, really nice, okay? You have that mix with the white. It's really chunky at the heel, and then it tapers down as you work towards the toe which is stereotypical for a running shoe. You have that millimeter drop from heel to toe just because of the transition when you're running. I'm not gonna run with these shoes. These shoes are more of like a lifestyle shoe for me. Uh, I would think that that's how people would run, run with these. There's other colorways that you could actually use. I might try these out in the gym. Don't know yet though. As we move up to the upper, this is where a lot of it, the magic happens, all right? The materials are is a mix of suede, mesh, uh, and you know leather inserts and stuff like that. So now start, starting with the top, the, the main material here is this mesh, breathable mesh material. It's a little off-white, okay, and it stands out. Now I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but we're gonna get a little close-up. You have this pale ivory is the color that they're calling out. It looks sail color, brown, light brown, pale ivory inserts with the suede on the medial side, okay, that's attached to the eyelid at the top. It wraps towards the forefoot, sorry, in the medial side. And then you have the same insert in black suede on the lateral side, okay, that attaches at the bottom of the eyelid. These cool things about these, uh, the inserts right here, the suede with the black, they have some lightning bolts going through in gray that's very subtle that you would only be able to see on a close-up, which is really cool. It adds a different feature to the shoe, which I really enjoy. I like that along with that crimson red stitching on both. Okay, add it for that pop, and then it just adds to that little bit of hint of color, that crimson red throughout the shoe. Now you have this overlay, synthetic overlay and pale ivory at the, the, the toe for added wear and durability, which is really cool. As you move towards the collar of the shoe, the back part, you have this nice fat heel counter, uh, suede cover over an aqua blue heel co cover underneath. Now you see these perforated holes at the back with the 23 logo, but you can see that there's a the external heel, heel, heel counter behind or in front, yeah, or behind, is that what you say? Yeah, behind, but you can see through that actual insert here, the cover, all right? Once again, they added these cool lightning bolts in gray all the way around, so it wraps from the midfoot to the medial side all the way to the lateral side, and it covers this padded, sail, pale ivory color collar that's really, really nice, okay? It's very cushioned. Uh, plush, soft, then you have a, a Jordan heel loop, okay, the J-R-D-N loop to pull to help your foot get in, and then the cool looking laces with that crimson red uh, and the aqua, once again, they keep adding these mint, uh, these little details of the color hints all throughout, which is really cool, it keeps tying everything back to a certain color, which I really love, all right? Now the really nice part about this shoe, in my opinion, I, you know, I wasn't expecting it, but it's probably one of the nicest uh, tongues that I've ever put on, like this collar, this this whole setup right here. Now, it's attached down here by the eyelids, so it's really easy to get your foot in. You can un unlace it, and then that thing, you know, really opens, all right, so which is really nice. But this padded collar, this padded tongue, 
it is super comfortable. It's a, it's a nylon material, it wraps your foot. And like I said, when I have the, the shoe on and I'm tying the laces, man, it's really nice. It's just a really comf comfortable fit. Uh, and I really enjoyed that. I thought that was something that I noticed right off the bat. Uh, as opposed to a lot of other shoes that I put on, this right here was nice. It's really well set up. And then they have this cool little tongue loop right here with the Jordan Insignia logo on it. The insert here, the insole is really nice too. It's really cool, we can get a close up on that. It's like a Miami Vice, the, the red, pink, uh, blue, neon blue, pink, neck gear with little lightning bolts in there as well. True to size, they definitely fit really, really nice. I like them, uh, narrow fitting, but chunky, nice underfoot. Check them out. Um, I don't normally do this, but when I do, I shoe review.